Hi, Lori here to walk you through how to do the future value of a single payment now using Excel. The problem we need to solve, or that we're going to tackle tonight, is the fact that Grandma's given us $10,000 to put aside so we can build up a down payment for a house. If we invest it at 10%, the question is, how much will we have in 10 years? We can answer this question by using our future value formula in Excel. To get there, we use the equal sign and then FV, begin our parenthesis, and that pops up all of the inputs that we need to give it. The rate is 10%. We put that in as a decimal point, which is 0 0.10. We then hit a comma, and notice that the next input we need is NPER. That's number of periods. In this case, that's 10 years. Next, our payment. We're not making any annual payments. We're just putting one single uh, payment down, or one single down payment. Um, of $10,000, so that's going to be our present value. So for payment, we're going to have zero. And then for present value, we're going to input it as a negative because it's a cash outflow. And Excel gives us that hint by providing the PV inside bracket, suggesting that it should go in as a negative number. Remember, no commas as we put those in. Otherwise, uh, we confuse Excel because commas are used to separate the inputs. And we simply close with a parenthesis, hit return, and there we find that 25,937.42 that we determined it would be manually when we were working that way. So, the nice thing about Excel is that we can quickly look at alternatives. So, what if we only invest for five years, what will it be worth? Let's pull up our future value formula by typing E equals FV paren. Our rate is still 10%, which is input as a decimal, 0.10 comma, the periods is 5 now, not 10, payments are still 0, we're not making any annual payments, and our present value is still a negative 10,000. Close the paren, hit the button, 16,105. So already we can see a big difference between how much we will have after 10 years, which is almost $26,000, versus only 16,000 if we leave it in the investment at, for just 5 years. What if we could invest it for 25 years and wait until then to get the money? Well, let's see what happens equals FV, parenthesis, our rate is still 10%, put in as a decimal, our periods are 25 this time, payments are still zero, our present value is still a negative 10,000, close the paren, hit return, $108,000. So if we can leave our investment in for longer, especially at a higher interest rate, we can see that we can really build the future value of that investment. And that's it for future value of a single payment now.